nobody hikes like the Germans. On the weekend, up to two million hikers and nature lovers retreat to the wild green yonder. But what spurs them on, through sleet and rain, to tough it out with Mother Nature? Why do Germans have a liking for hiking? Because it's healthy and I feel fit. I go hiking uh, because I have lost 10 kilograms of my weight. I don't go hiking. I uh, only walk with my dog. 17 million Germans, one in five of the population, say hiking is one of their leisure time activities. And 36% of German holidays are spent hiking. Only beach holidays are more popular. For many, hiking is a way of life which also requires being properly outfitted. That's why I am going to the experts. Being a thorough German, Vigga gets kitted out with a rucksack, a tent, an insulating thingy, GPS, a pan, a water canister, telescope, a state-of-the-art hiker's laptop bag, but also chooses a very traditional German hiking costume with hat. Now the shopping's done, he's off to Thuringen to test his stamina on one of Germany's most popular hiking routes, the Rennsteig. How far are you going to be hiking today? Uh, today, 28 kilometers, but over the year, uh, about 1,000 kilometers. 1,000? Yeah. Isn't that exhausting? No, it's good. I like it. Wow. Vigga has joined a group of serious ramblers and learns from the group's leader that he is to be given young rambler status. Why, Vigga would like to know, do they have all these strange terms and regulations? Our hiking or rambling club is very old, so we use the traditional terms. There's always been this separation of novices and experienced hikers. We call them young ramblers and old ramblers. I'm an old rambler. Okay. So, no surprise here, hiking in Germany has rules. How do you feel after a long ramble? I feel fresher, free, whole. And I feel a sense of belonging that the group has come through together. And here we see Vigga bonding with the group. An important part of hiking is keeping your bearings. Here in the middle of the forest, how good are hikers whose eyes are covered as they make their way through. Our first blindfolded hiker soon gets lost in the woods and gives up. Our second candidate starts off well, but soon collides with a German fir tree and beats a hasty retreat. Hiker number three uses a hiking accessory to feel his way and gets through the trees successfully. And finally, not exactly standard hiking procedure, but crawling around on all fours is a much safer way of getting around. Congratulations. So, two out of four German hikers have such a great sense of direction, they can even hike in the dark. Wow, Germans love walking in the great outdoors so much it makes them want to burst into song. If you'd like to take a hike, why not come on over and join them? Those boots were made for walking. The search goes on. The search for the truth about Germany.